Hey, where are my clients? You good? What's up, Miami? What's up? Miami Beach, this yeah. Is Miami this is our brother Miami. clients, the Bob G. Where huh? are you from? Uh, Germany. Germany, welcome yeah. to Miami. You welcome. Right? You know that song, Welcome to Miami. Miami. Bacon? You Jamaican? No. German. A half German, a half Barbados. 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 I'm sorry to say that's yeah, 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 yeah. Keep, keep it up. Yeah, Enjoy yeah, 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 yeah. some more. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Show. Yeah. So, all of you, you were asking, how did I become the bottom G? I don't even look like him anymore. I don't even look like myself anymore. I became so brown and so tan here in Miami. I'm more Indian G right now, but I love it. I love a good tan. I should take off the glasses. I cannot see shit. So I started to take content creation very seriously 2020 after it was a contestant with German Idol. It's like a TV show where you sing. And I made it until I think the top 100. Anyways, that time I heard from a music marketing person that the biggest new music artists are gonna be influencers in the future. That was the moment with my 1,000 followers on Instagram. I was like, hey guys, what up? Subscribe to my channel. You know, that was the moment I decided I'm gonna be influencer. And I remember at one point, my comments of a video, which had like a 1.5 million views on TikTok or something like that, were full with like, oh, you look like <laughs> that. Then I remember, I was like, who is, who the fuck <laughs> is that man? I don't know, I don't care. I want to make my music work. And I remember, don't give a <laughs> fuck about it. I just kept on posting. I don't, I didn't care. And what, I don't care. Who's, what the fuck <laughs> is that? So, and then like weeks later, people just commented and tagged me in this shit and I watched this stuff. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> that man talking about this is all bullshit just to go viral also one thing i need to say in those in all these videos you guys see everyone <laughs> doing shit i see myself okay i just see myself i know every time it's me so you guys make that out of me and i know a lot of followers from <laughs> are like oh you disrespect him i just do my shit i can i i can do nothing I just kind of look like him right now. I cannot help it. It's not my fault. It's I'm born that way. I'm beauty. Hey, I'm beautiful in my way. Cause God makes no mistakes. I'm on the right track. Baby, I, oh, fuck I was born this way. Anyways, I tried out different content all the time. In every kind of direction possible. Real talk, food content, a little bit explicit content, you know? I tried out things in every kind of direction and nothing felt right. What I know today with the bottom G thing, it's the combination. And you know what I don't like? Everybody's like, you just lucky that you look like him. No, 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 no. I refuse this bullshit. I became a good content creator, a very good content creator the last years working my ass off, trying out every kind of content, okay? You can call me lucky because I was prepared for this opportunity. Luck means opportunity meets Preparation. No, preparation meets opportunity. Also, people are like, don't imitate him and blah, blah, blah. I'm not imitating anybody. I'm doing myself while looking similar. I'm, I look, in my opinion, I look different. Actually, I think I'm a bit more cute, if I'm completely honest right now. Also, I'm not that crazy lucky because I know people who have way less buzz around them, way less followers and stuff, who make way more money because they're not connected to them. So it's a good thing because it gives me the buzz, let's say, but at the same time, I lost so many brand deals. You know, it's it's good and bad, you know? So I just need to accept it. One point, the comments were full with everything, everything. I didn't care, I kept on doing my shit, uh, and it, but it kept on coming. So at one point, I just, ex <laughs> I just accepted my role in society um, as the bottom G and just did it. I was just, I did what people, I feel like I just do what people want from me. At the same time, I can incorporate my music and my performing arts into something people genuinely enjoy. Also, at the end of the day, I was always a performer since I'm a little kid. I was a Latin dancer, did the competitions and stuff. Then I ended up at the Moulin Rouge, Moulin Rouge in Paris you know, for like a few years. Then I was a show singer for a big hotel in Turkey. Where I got fired actually because I took social media too seriously. That was 2020. That was while that was the very beginning of my social media. At the end, I'm just a music artist who tries to make it in the weirdest way ever uh, because the world changes and you need to adapt. You need to adapt. You can check out my old music videos and stuff. Uh, 
when I see it myself right now, I'm a bit boring of an artist. But you know, back then I was like, oh, I'm such an artist. And oh, my artistry, my music speaks for itself. No. And you know, a lot of people hate what I'm doing right now, but I feel I'm a person, I'm a personal brand by now with a standing, with a with a strong message. You can, you maybe don't like it. I think as a dude, as a bro, as a whatever the <laughs> f you are, if you want to twerk, twerk. That sounds so not deep, but it is actually deep because just think about the fact I'm ready to try to survive like 30 seconds in the ring with Andrew, <laughs> but do you think I get those guys to dance for 10 seconds? In a fucking Swarovski shirt, do you think they would do it? The world would fa would fall in love with Andrew if he would do that shit. The thing is, I used to be so insecure about this side of me, and I thought it's so shameful. And at the end, it's like, who the fuck cares? It's always, always the the guy who does feminine shit is more problematic, and nobody can even tell me properly why. A girl who dances, who's crumping, is all right, or who's boxing, she's okay. But the guy who dances like a slut in a corner is a problem and is hired by the Matrix and the government to take to take over the spot of the G. What the fuck? People be crazy. People be crazy. I think the most intelligent person is the is the person who absorbs information from multiple sources. And I think I come from such a different opposite space of life and it's such a different point of view that it's interesting to listen at least listen to both of those you know and i don't say anything's wrong or right i just think it's maybe very interesting to have like you know life's about balance everybody speaks about work-life balance and balance is a big word yin yang hot cold yes and you're no in and you're out up when you're down you're wrong when it's right you know what all it's all about balance like every form of community let it be lgb every everything every community every single community they're so one-sided nobody understands each other anymore because nobody's listening you know like like just listen and if you don't like it it's all right it's okay it's okay to agree to disagree on some topics that's all right we can still coexist and that's what people sometimes forget bottom g i'm out have a beautiful day kisses from Miami Beach and I don't know, be a slut if you want to.